Right then lads, we are here for episode 11 of the Newcastle United career mode. So, in this episode, we've got a massive game as you can see there. Semi-final third leg against Liverpool. It's January transfer window. I've been reading the comments. Some comments have been really um, good suggestions. So, I've been um, having a look at the transfers. See who we can bring into the side. I've popped some players in there and I'll go through them in a minute. Big episode today. We've got Link in, in the cup as well. I might sim that and then play the Premier League game. Um, I think it's Wolves at home. But... Obviously, it's January transfer window now. Newcastle could do with some um, to, um, improvement. So, let's have a look to see who I've put on. These are the three players who I think are more than likely going to be good enough for Newcastle United and, and make this career mode a bit better. So, Brennan Johnson. Been good in real life. I don't know how much he's been playing in the actual career mode, but I think it is a good option. Obviously, he can play strike and on the right-hand side, so two positions where... Probably a little bit of depth. Um, James Trafford is a good one. Um, I think we need a, a, a better battle goalkeeper than Martin Dubravka. Young, promising, could go up and rating. Ian Manson is a funny one. Reed. It's not like realistic. Like Newcastle would not buy him this January coming. But Aston Villa won this career mode of signed Alfonso Davies. And, and I'm like, there's no need for Ian Manson in, the, in, the, in their squad. Um, his release clause is £110 million for... Um, Alfonso Davies, so he will be their man. So I'm thinking going for Trafford as it's a realistic signing, and then either pick Brennan Johnson or Ian Manson, where you've got around 35 million to to play with. So I'm going to start off the episode. I think we're going to go in, uh, in for um, James Trafford. I could put Dubravka in, but I'm literally just going to go for what his market value is: seven million. And they've said no. That's what he. That's what he goes for. They've literally just turned around and went no straight away. Uh, am I meant to send him for a bit more? Wait, James Trafford's off the list for four at the minute. Um, Ian Manson or Brennan Johnson. I bet I might go into the game versus Liverpool and, and let it settle a little bit, but it's a tough one to call. I don't know which one to go for, but we've got a big game here. When you get when you get focused, I haven't played FIFA in a little while, so I think we need to get fucking ready. Ooh, we've got some... Trans That's what I mean. I, I, people come in for transfers. Lewis Hall is going to go nowhere, and Nick Pope definitely not going to go to Tottenham after they've just fucking beat her in the last episode. Didn't watch last episode. We had a good episode actually. We beat Villa, beat um, beat Man United, and then went into the game versus Spurs and got beat in the last kick of the game. But we're going to quickly change the team up. I'll show you that in a minute, and then we're going to go into the game versus Liverpool. So here we are, the first leg. In real life, we got beat, you're not in real life, sorry, in the career mode, we played Liverpool at home already and got beat 3 1. Carabao Cup time now, we're in the semi final, we've done so well in this tournament. Hopefully, we'll do the same in real life. We've got a game versus Chelsea coming up, but this is massive. If we can go into Anfield winning, because Anfield's a tough place to go, Liverpool are doing really well in the career mode as well. I swear they're sitting second in the league and only lost like one or two games. Obviously, they've got Van Dijk. Obviously, with FIFA being like rigged and they're not rigged, but like they've got good players. Liverpool, Carabao Cup, come on. Anthony Gordon, down the wing. Done brilliantly. Come on! Alexander Rizak, gold in, in games that have got legs are so crucial. I think we went 1 0. I mean, been 1 1 against them in, um, in the career mode already. Like, we've just got to stay, hold on. That's what we've got to do. They're a good team, Liverpool. They've got some players that, that are all playing this game. I don't think Van Dijk's playing, which is a massive, massive bit of, like, it, it, it's good. <laughs> They've still got some, like, Salah and, and Luis Diaz and stuff, but 1-0 up. Come on. This is what we need. Oh, fuck's sake, man. The lead lasted seven minutes. Try to defend the best I could there and... Salah stuck him in the oh fuck man. This is what I mean with legendary when you actually play like lethal players like Salah and stuff. Ah, oh, it's a good finish, man. Mm. I don't know if away goals are even a thing. I fucking hope not. 1-1. One, one. Oh, I'll just take them out. Take the yellow card. It's not a red, so we'll take the yellow card. No. Oh man, it's so hard to play against these players when they're so fast and they're so quick. Lewis Diaz. Like, it's like, it's different on Ultimate Team. Like, when you've got, like, good players and stuff. When you've got, like, 
live a mental 78 rated and stuff. It's it's so hard to defend players like this. Ah, oh, man. And Tino's injured again. That's the third injury Tino's had this season. Like, the first one, he was out for two months. The second one, I brought him off straight away. Seems to be out right there. Two one down at half time. I mean, they've just got quality players. We've had one shot and scored it. <coughs> Quick sneeze. You're not going to say that, but second half, just oh, it's, it's going to be so hard to like, get back into this game because it's just like the players they've got up front is ridiculous. Oh, they've just brought on Van Dyke. Like, like how's we? He's a winning. Oh. And like the fact that he's gonna win this and all probably. Yeah. Like Van Dyke. Go on Linton! Oh man! So close! Oh come on man, take one of these chances. It's gonna be hard against Van Dyke in the box. Play it a little bit shorter. Oh fucking shite. Oh my god. No man, that's a chance! That is the chance! That's the chance! We've blew it. We're not getting a better chance than that. No way. That's it. That that goal's got absolutely fucked with. We are not we're not three one again. If it was two one going to Anfield, you never know. In fact that's when three one. There's no chance we're getting it. No, there's no chance we're going away to Liverpool. A stadium we've not won at in decades. Oh man. Just wanted to I wanted to win a trophy. Obviously we've still got the FA Cup and we're not gonna win the league. So disappointing. Reese, we've got Lincoln in the cup now. We should win away from home. I'm going to just sim this. We should win. 1-0. Bloody hell. Make it hard. Asula scores. Good stuff. For the next round of the cup, obviously, it would have been nice to play, but, like, it's it, it's Lincoln, you know what I mean? We should should be beating them, so... um, Happy days. So, obviously, the game versus Liverpool was disappointing. I think we're going to advance to Wolves and then um, decide what we're going to do with the team. Oh no! So some of the players we have not like done new transfers for, um, and then one of them, Dan Byrne, who will join Southampton at the end of the season. I mean, there's nothing much I can really do about that. Um, and then you see, my arm went lower, so oh, no. Ah, oh, disappointing. Dan Byrne, good player on his day. Reef before this game, obviously we can go in for Trafford again, which I think we will. We'll go in for Trafford. We'll offer them ten million this time rather than seven. And if they're gonna go off it, then there's no point signing them. So obviously he's not gonna play. He's not gonna start, but it's a realistic signing. No, you know I won't. We'll just upset this. Not bad. Ten point ten ten point four. Wait, you know what I mean? Ten million four hundred k. Try and get this contract done, and then we will decide on what player to sign. So. I just don't want a release clause. Not a four year contract. Happy days. No the release clause. We'll just have to set that. Happy days. James Trafford, Fogden's fucking brother, as he used to always say, is joined Newcastle United. Um decent transfer. Give him some game time if we need if we need a um price rate is gonna be a B. Not bad. Honestly, looking at these two players, I actually might wait until next episode. I wish YouTube could still do polls, but Brennan Johnson or Ian Manson. I might put a comment um, in the comment section, right? You've got a like, wait, which one? Either Ian Manson or Brennan Johnson, because I think we can only sign one. Who will benefit the crew mode more? Let me know. I'm going to wait until next episode for that. But we're going to go to this game versus Wolves at home at St. James's Park. We will not we'll not look at the table. We're just going to go straight to the game. Make a couple of... What's it got to get pink? I don't know. Why is Gage Fitness down there? Bloody hell, we'll get Botman on. Um, go with that. I think. Reed, so this is the team we're going to play for. Wolves, pretty much the same. Um, I don't know why as well, why Bruno and Joe Linton have swapped round. I don't know why I prefer Joe Linton on the left, but that's the team we're going to play. We, we should win this game. Wolves are hitting 14th in the league. We're fourth. Losing that game versus uh, Spurs really hit us, so we need a win. Brilliant, Isaac. Oh, what a goal that is. Alexander Rizak, the little drag back worked brilliantly there. 1-0. Probably deserved. Wolves have been causing a couple of problems, like, but 
we're one nil up. Well, we were one nil up against Liverpool. Do you know what I mean? When you when you see in the game, but that little drag back there, really good stuff. And then Alexander Rizak is always going to finish that being eighty seven rate. I think or eighty eight. Come on, I've been absolutely sent. He's going to sweat you. Oh no, he's not. He's going to shoot. Oh my god, what? A, oh my god, oh my god. Well, since we've scored, Wolves have been absolutely all over. Bloody hell. We need to get a fucking chance going here. We could now. They've just hit the bar. Oh no. Alright, Alexander. Before half time. 2 0. Like that. Alexander Rizak just scores goal, scores goal. Sandro Tonali made that. He lost the ball, won it back, and won it back, and then done brilliantly to create the goal. Alexander Rizak. Goes through and always he's going to finish that. 2 0, right before half time, much needed. And there we go, half time. Good off. I think that has been a good off. Apart from my chance, I hit the bar for, for Wolves. I think Nick Pope's done really well in this game. Um, like I say, we've took our chances. Isaac's just just different gravy at the minute. He like just scores goals left, right, and centre. Brilliant stuff. But setting off now, um, we should hold on. If we don't, then pff, I'll quit the career mode. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a hat trick. It is a hat trick for Alexander Rizak. Nout is stopping the boy. Lovely, lovely finish. Hat trick hero yet again. I think it came up before. I think that's his 27th goal of the season. Like, I think it was 25 when he scored his first. I think that's his 27th goal of the season, and we're in January. Haaland record's getting broken here, like some boy. There you go, you can see it there, lads. 27 goals in 21 matches. Unbelievable. Good save. Oh, oh my god, they've missed the rebound. They've hit the post. Wolves should have scored at least one today, like. We're lucky to be free and a little because if it was 1 0 there, I'd be a wee squeaky bomb time. Callum Wilton, though. They nearly scored. Oh, we nearly do as well. Oh, it's in. It's four. It's game set done. Joel in from the header. Can he really end the episode? May end the game. Brilliant head of that by Joe Linton. Tonali on the corner. There are the boys there. Come on. And there we go. Not bad. 4 0. I mean, Wolves had some good chances. and It was one of them games of FIFA. But you take a 4 0 every day of the week. Good win. We'll uh, have a look at the league table. Read then, lads. Let's look at the league table now. So if we look at. Like, we'll remove. Like, if we look at from where third is. If we beat Tottenham, we would be in the top four by a nice bit. We really would be. That that, that three points is going to be one point. Gaining them two. That's what's going to cost the butt. We're going, we're going up. We're doing our race. We should keep going in the league. Yes, if we don't go from the Carabao Cup, then, then so be it. Obviously, Liverpool are doing good. Obviously, we're only three points behind Liverpool. It's annoying. We've won the same amount of games with them this season. Man City's still unbeaten. But... Like I say, lads, let me know who should I sign because I think we could probably only sign one of them depending if we sell some players. Brennan Johnson or Ian Manson, let me know who you think I should sign. Make sure to leave a like, boys, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah.